Hi YouTube, I know it has been a minute or a few months or a year. I have literally forgot how long it's been since I've last made a YouTube. But now I'm back with probably the biggest project I'll ever take on in my life. So I genuinely thought a problem shared is a problem halved. So I have recently bought a house. It is a three bed detached house and it is definitely a do wrapper. I thought I'd bring you along the journey because I actually don't know what I'm doing. And I mean, if anything, it's gonna make great content. So first things first, I bought the house in, well, I put the offer in in February and uh, it got accepted and we completed on, I think it was June the 17th. So it only took four months. I was anticipating it was gonna take much longer than that. I've heard some stories where it literally takes up to a year. But I suppose because there wasn't a chain, obviously I'm a first time buyer and it was a probate house, which means that the, the actual homeowner passed away and it was kind of like with, with her estate at that point. I moved out of my flat in April, moved home to my mum. So now I try and spend as much time around there as possible. I'm still living at my mum's because the house is just, I mean, it's probably, no, it's not livable. It's not livable, not even a little bit. I've hired my brother to help. He finished his job where he was at and I needed a labourer. He kind of done like maintenance and stuff like that at his old job and it was just like a match made in heaven. Never did I think me and my brother was gonna get along this well. We actually haven't argued once at the house, so winning. The conservatory's come down just about. We've had one hiccup where I uncovered a wasp nest We've had one sting, thank God it wasn't me. I am trying, well me and my, my family are trying to do as much of the kind of labor intensive stuff as possible just to save money wherever I can. Like I am under no illusion that this is going to take every penny that I have and then some to do up. So yeah, wherever I can save money, I will. I want to show you all the drawings that we've had done by the architect. Um, the architect they're called forward architecture and honestly i just can't rave about them anymore like we've had prior to getting the drawings we had maybe two or three conversations sent them a few pictures of kind of inspiration and what i like and that, like he just got it absolutely spot on there is literally maybe two or three minor changes that i want to make to the drawings other than that they're basically good to go so I want to talk you through the drawings and what I intend to do with the house. Here you can see this is the existing uh, look of the house. This is the front, this is the back, and this is the proposed. Um, absolutely love this. Have nothing really that I want to change. Uh, this will all be glass. Uh, that potentially could be changed just because I know that the price of glass is so expensive at the minute. And also I'm just thinking in terms of privacy, um, I don't know whether I want that much glass. <laughs> uh, this is obviously gonna be street view. So don't like the thought of people being able to look in and see like what rooms are what and, and X, Y, Z. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that is the only thing that I suppose would be potentially up for debate. Uh, this is the back of the house. So this is the Juliet balcony. Um, and the only thing I was, <laughs> I've was i mentioned on here is the window. I am a little bit of a nut job when it comes to things being symmetrical and I just would rather that window be changed so my OCD doesn't send me over the edge. This so far is the proposed ground floor plan. You can see that I've made some changes already, but we're planning on bringing out the entrance. So we are going to come onto the front garden a little bit. Um, I want a double doorway, walk in, and you will have, we're not quite sure what I want that to be. Uh, it was originally an office, but I want a cloakroom somewhere that you can put all of your kind of your shoes and your um, jackets and also that like when you have people over, you've just got somewhere to put all of their stuff. Um, and then here, I'm thinking either like a content room or just an extra guest bedroom, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, on this side, on your right, you'll have a home cinema um, and this will have, I suppose, maybe eight to 12 seats. I don't know yet. I have no idea. I have about eight to 12 friends, so that is very wild of me. Um, and then straight ahead, double doors, and you go into your open plan kitchen and dining area. 
Um, this will be the pantry. Oh, sorry, downstairs toilet as well. This will be the pantry that you get into through the kitchen, um, a dining table or something like that there, and then the living room. Um, I mean, initially I weren't too keen on having like an open plan kitchen and a dining area, uh, living room rather, but I suppose because I've got the home cinema, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I do want to put in like a, a mud room of some sort, a dog shower, and then like a bench for like muddy shoes when you come in. Um, but that is up for debate at the minute. I'm not quite sure where to put that. Um, so yes, and then this will be all bifold doors, and then that will lead out into the garden. So I have just come to the house. What is the time? It is 8:30, and it's hot. Got my little dungarees on. Got in the Zara sale. Um, I actually thought this would be like the perfect outfit for gardening. It's not. I've had some close shines with spiders. No bueno. Um, but yeah, today we are trying to finish off the garden. I've got my brother and his girlfriend in there at the minute. And it is just hot. I think we're going to be finishing probably about lunchtime today. But I'll give you a little tour of the house and show you what we've been getting up to. Another little side note. To any trolls or anyone that wants to comment and say that I look different from Love Island or I'm ugly with no makeup on, honestly, you can save the comments. If I thought I was ugly, if I thought if I was insecure about the way I looked about any makeup on, do you really think I'd be doing this? I just don't give a f So I thought I would give you all a little house tour update. I don't actually know how much has changed since I last showed you, but let's see what I've got up to. So up here, I think I've showed you when the uh, cupboard has been taken out, but we've now taken out most of the bathroom. So sink's gone, toilet's gone, bath has all been disconnected, um, the tank's been drained, so now we just need to take the bath out. <laughs> Everything's gone in here. I suppose most of the changes actually happened in the garden, which I will show you. Here we've got it's looking like at the minute. A bonsai, I know. That is definitely where most most of the magic's happened and it just so happens that it is so hot this week and because we're doing most of the labour ourselves, we're gonna be coming here really early and leaving at that lunchtime. Our little snack <laughs> my brother has quit his job, so now he is my full time labourer. Love that food cow. The podium has gone up, so we've got rid of all of that. All of this needs to be gone. We've got rid of the shed since the last time we've seen it. Um, I personally took down a tree here with my bare hands. Also found a wasp nest, so that isn't fun. Found those potatoes growing. Oh, and conservatory's gone. That's it for now. I think I've caught you as up to date as possible in terms of what's going on at the house. Um, but I am planning on doing these, I think, every two weeks, just because week to week, sometimes there's not much change. Other times there's so much has gone on. Um, but I'm planning on keeping this as regular as possible and I just hope that you pray for me because it's going to be a long old ride. <laughs>